Okay, it is about 12 o'clock where I am right now, and I have decided to try and do one more video for the night. I did a video earlier uh, tonight. Um, what am I trying to say? On uh, Congress Infinity 2022, and that went. 50 minutes, so I'm gonna try and get something a little bit cl uh, less long, I guess, if that's even a word. Um, it's Congress Forever 2012, um, the 2010 Senate campaign most infamous for having Charlie Crist and Lisa Murkowski running as independents, both from, I guess you would say, the right uh, against the Republicans. And as you can see here, the, you can read all of this if you want. It's a four out of five system. I'm not going to go back and redo all this because trust me, it is so late right now and I, I just want to get something recorded. Um, it's going to tell me something. I don't really want to read that. Yeah. Um, honestly, I like playing as Charlie Crist in this campaign because then it gives me the ability to just do whatever I want, not having to worry about Republicans or Democrats. That's that's kind of what I like to do with a third party. Uh, just to note, the uh, shaded uh, blue with the stripes to them, that is to indicate that a state is in the lean category. So down here you can see that it's likely in lean. I believe there is a distinction between, uh, yeah, I believe I can see that with Connecticut over there and New York. They're two different colors. Maybe it's not. I, uh, I can't see it very well. Um, but places like West Virginia, I believe. Sorry if my mouse goes off the screen there. Um, we are Chris. In, okay, it won't just... Okay, that's nice. Um, yeah, uh, we are lean currently in Florida. What we want to do here is basically... Okay, so basically um, you got to target it first. And I don't know if we have enough power to just do it, do two, more than one action. Um, but we are going to, I believe we can do... Let's do five... Let's just make sure that's enough. It was not enough. We need to wait one more day. Um, I've been able to unseat uh, Rubio before. So um, this is not exactly the... that That's where it was. Okay. This is not exactly the most difficult campaign to do. Um... And I'm not sure if I can actually campaign campaign. I know I can create ads and I don't, I don't really care to do that. Honestly, I just want to get through this as fast as possible to get to the good stuff. The stuff you guys actually care about seeing. Not uh, me talking over everything. Okay, it's almost done there. Um, basically what we need to do is we, we need to make ourselves a better candidate over everyone else. Oh, we need that. All right, hold on. This scene, uh, this sweet added to watch well, so Okay, I don't know what that does, but um, because again, Congress Forever 2022 or 2012 is one of those games where it just if you don't know what to do, then you're kind of just out of luck. So really, you just gotta hope that what you're doing is actually working. Um, yeah, we are currently ahead of Rubio. What we just need to do is just keep on trucking through. I think two more days should be enough. Alright, um, and apparently I haven't looked at Republican control of the Senate right now. Alright, there we go. We are, um, I don't know how many we are at. But we are at four and Rubio is at two. So we are currently doing two better than Rubio. So hopefully we can get more momentum as this time goes along. Right, and let's go until the next polling period. Ah, okay. 
So again, it's back to Republican leaning. Um, we got to be careful here. Uh, we are currently halfway there. Again, the problem with the opponents in this game is they're not exactly the smartest. So they aren't really doing anything. How did we lose? Okay, whatever. Um, we're up 0.1% apparently. Uh, how many days until election? We have... It's not telling me. I'm guessing... Oh, it's September. So we have, we have quite a few uh, weeks to go here. Okay, let's see if that was enough. I need to go check back. All right. Um, yeah, no, I I did I did a video earlier of the 2022 Senate, and it was 50 minutes long. And I I don't mind making a 50 minute long video, but actually making it and editing it are two different things. And I'm currently trying to edit on Sony Vegas, and I don't really want to do that. So yeah. Um, let's see. What does this do? Okay, we're gonna pull. I don't know what exactly that does, but we need some help here. We are currently at 30 to 32 percent, and we need to we need to catch up. Okay, we're back up to toss-up territory. That's good. That's good. We're we are currently in. We are currently in the lead. I think maybe not. It's hard to see. It's such a small interface. Uh, 29 to 28%. And the Democrat is at 20%. That's not good. Um, yeah, so we have that. I don't know what that does, but whatever. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright. 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven. Okay, new polling error. Oh wow, Democrats have gotten uh, smacked down in the states of uh, California and Nevada. It looks like. Uh, of course, it's only what? It's only October fifth, so anything could change by the time that actually rolls back around. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's weird. Somehow, Republicans are doing worse in states like Nevada and Washington. And somehow I just pulled ahead inexplicably, uh, yeah, by like seven points. So hopefully we can keep our lead and not lose. All right. Illinois is a toss-up. That's scary. I wonder who that toss-up is for, though. That's what I want to know. All right, and just continue doing, what is this, ground strength? Um, yeah, we are, oh boy, we are neck and neck here with the Christ can or uh, with the Rubio campaign, and I don't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a poll for me because that actually helps you easier. And what is the best here? I think that would be it, although that's low. So maybe medium would be better. Or maybe... Hmm, I think that would be balanced budget. Okay, and that is for what state is this in exactly? That's... I think this is in Florida, but I could be wrong. Oh, balanced budget. Missed. Uh, insights available, zero, you know, whatever. Um, uh, the assessing budget, 10,000. Let's up that to 20,000. Uh, right. Chance of a highly successful plus 20% plus 50% equals 70%. Power 7. Television ad. Where is this in? Oh, for a second. Okay, yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, and create ad. All right. Um, and it'll take how many days? It'll take. Okay, did four to two. Add television. Yada yada yada. Okay, television ad. Uh huh. Oh. Add. 
No, I can't take it. Let's check back in two days. The so two presses of the space bar. Come on. Okay, one, two, three, four. That might be a good chance opportunity to check in on our ad. How's it doing? Okay, that's uh, progressing. But the what happened to our ad? I, I guess it I guess it didn't oh uh, whatever um okay Christ okay and let's go with uh, abortion would be nice but we've got to find something that will actually help us here and I think that will medium plus three so then production budget twenty thousand create ad. Okay, so maybe we complete or wait one day? That's what I would think. Okay. Alright. Go back. Go back. Yeah, okay. And, uh, I don't know why it keeps going away. Uh, maybe we have to go to this. No, okay. What about this button? I don't, I don't know. Um... That's not exactly what we wanted to do. Apparently we just can't view the ads, so that's uh that's nice. That's wonderful. Okay, um and I think we will do that. Okay. Right. And come back and what is today? October 20th. So on the 23rd. Oh wow. It is quite a battleground out here in the Republican uh, heavy field of the 2010 cycle. So currently we are dead even with Marco Rubio. So all we got to do is just hold out. Oh, there we go. We're in the lead again. Although Fog of War is turned on, so it's anybody's guess as to what is going on here. Oh, apparently we are at max. I don't know what I just did there. Let's do that again. I guess we're out of money. I don't know what's going on. Um, what is this thing here? Oh, okay, that's our how close we are in most issues, and that's research. This is ads. Again, I wish I could actually see what ads I have because um, I you guys saw I I tried to to put some up there to run. So whatever, right, go away. Okay, sorry about that. All right, let's just um, let's hope for the best as we ride into November. 29th, 30th, 31, November 1st, 2nd. Come on. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. As the votes come in. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. All right. So currently they're holding um, eight seats. It doesn't tell me how many out of a hundred. Uh, it's coming in. Okay. All right, more votes are coming in. Uh, they, I, I'm, they're gonna hold on to Vermont. Um, it'd be interesting if they lose Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, or Georgia. Those are the most interesting of all, I would say, to lose right now. Okay, more votes are pouring in. Um, a very slow uh, system here. Hope you guys enjoy the music that's playing. Uh, future me, remember to put in some good music for the people. Uh, Democrats have taken the lead, especially in places like West Virginia, North Carolina, and Ohio. Oh, I, okay. I guess that lead doesn't matter anymore in North Carolina, because that has gone red. 
I'm guessing Portman must be the one running in Ohio, but I don't know. This will probably take the longest part of the video right here. Republicans and Democrats are fighting it out nine to nine. As the other state is coming in. Ah, Pennsylvania, Missouri, Oklahoma, Illinois, and Maryland and New Hampshire are coming in. So if you notice, this is the same map, well, almost same map, that you are seeing today if you are looking online at the election prediction sites. Currently, Republicans and Democrats are at a dead even at 24-24 Christ. We are at currently one seat. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Stay purple. Stay purple, gosh darn it. Don't you dare flip back. Come on. It's staying purple. North Carolina is staying blue. So I guess Republicans have lost that seat, but they're keeping New Hampshire. Um, I think we're keeping the seat in Florida. I I'm I don't want to call it too early. Let's go there. Can we go there right now? Not sure. Can we go there? Can we go there while it's still coming? Oh yes, we can. Okay. Um. What? Oh. Come on, we're still ahead. We are still ahead in Florida. It is a, actually it's not even close. It's 30 to 33 to 38, 36. Fine, well, I mean, we're three points. That's, that's something. 36, 33, come on. Come on. Come on. Wouldn't it be interesting if if this actually happened this fall, that an independent governor was running in the Congress, like, that'd be hilarious to me. We are keeping our lead. We are keeping our lead in Florida, and Republicans are keeping the lead all around the nation. Except in, uh, oh wow, they, they took back the lead in Ohio. North Carolina is flipping on a dime right now, spazzing out. They've lost the lead in New Hampshire. Um, come on, come on, baby. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, okay, we're still, we're still ahead. It is a dead heat. 30, 30 to 37, we're at 37% now. Dang it. I think we're gonna win this in, in Florida. Oh no, they lost the lead in Ohio. And they're not keeping any lead in Wisconsin as of right now. All right. Oh, we've passed a million in Florida. Let's go. Let's go. We've passed a million. Oh, so has Rubio. And so has the Democrats. <laughs> this is such a split race. This is a 33%. I think it is. 33, 3%. Almost 3%. Oh my goodness. This is such an interesting night. Come on, guys. I might just speed it up after they call the race. Although, I don't know when they're done. I don't wait, hold on. Okay, 100% in in Florida. We have officially won with 36% to 33. Dang, that's a close race. Okay, uh, let's just uh, speed this up. So we've, we've officially taken, um, let's turn on comments, why, why not? Okay. Um, the messages will now, um, I don't know if I like that or not. And maybe it'll come in when they call a race. Let's hope that's the case, because I don't, I don't want to just sit here and not notice that it paused to tell me something I didn't need to already, I didn't already know. Oh my gosh, man, that's, that's insane. I didn't, I didn't think so. We are going to call it. Democrats have taken the Senate. Really? Okay, how well did they do? So, both Murkowski and I, and I'm guessing we are center-right? Especially at this timeline. Okay, yeah. Election night is over. Thank you for letting me know that. 
Um, I'm guessing we are both right leading, so that kind of... Oh, wow. 56 to 42. Wow. Okay, so... I'm not sure how we actually tell this. Let's just check out some of these races. In Ohio, I guess... Democrats is winning. It doesn't tell me which is a flip and which is not. At least as far as I can see. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not really telling me what's a flip and what isn't. Like in the Congress Infinity. Excuse me. Um, it looks... I don't know how they... I don't know how they flipped so many seats. Wow, okay, so Democrats kept the Senate 56 to 42 in the... I, okay, so in real life, Democrats lost the day at 51 Senate seats. And the Demo uh, Republicans uh, gained, I think, six. Um, that would be North Dakota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana... Pennsylvania, and I believe, I believe, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe North Carolina, but they lost North Carolina, they, they, they didn't keep that seat, they lost Ohio as a seat overall, and New Hampshire, as well as not being able to flip either of these two, they did flip this seat though, um, and they, of course, they kept all three of these somehow. I don't know. Who's, it doesn't even say who's running in each race, which is kind of a, a letdown. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I don't know what I'm going to call this. But I, I was looking earlier, literally right before I made this, and there are no Congress Forever videos on uh, YouTube. So I, I kind of want to make some just to, just to give the, the platform... Uh, a bit of Congress Forever content. I don't know when this is coming out. I got a busy plan because I'm a student, but hopefully I can get this out in a timely manner. Anyway, uh, see you guys around the channel. Thanks for stopping in, and uh, have a good day.